start out with uh, accents, man. You get to play around with this one. What's it like kind of going into that type of uh, fun type accent? The Cleveland. Yeah, I'm mean, from the hood in Cleveland. Yeah. So it's a, it's a far stretch from where I'm from, which is in North London, you know. I grew up in a pretty privileged background, so I had to go in the opposite direction. Um, it was interesting. I mean, you know, I love doing it. I mean, I think if you're an actor, either get it right or forget about it, go home. That's my position on it. So I think I, I believe I did that, and I, I hope I did that. I mean, you'd be the judge of that. You guys get really close in this. It seems like a really tight-knit group of guys, the four of you guys. Like, what's it like with this set? What was the camaraderie? Was it just everyone was friendly and everyone kind of got into it? Stephen made an effort to put us all together in a house, and we lived with each other, having never met these boys before. And Esri, who, did you just interview Esri? Yeah. Esri was a local hire, which meant that he was not being put up. He was staying at home in Cleveland because it was cheaper for the production. So it was three of us living together, and then Esri on his own at home with his parents. And I said to Esri, come over, and I bought in an air mattress, and I set him up in the closet in my bedroom so he'd be there with us and it's an integral part of our chemistry on screen that we live together every single day how real was this shoot i mean there's stuff going on behind the scenes that was really real and raw i mean this is a real shoot it was a real shoot i was walking through a crowd doing um we were at a puerto rican festival that happens every year in cleveland and though we'd locked you know the capacity to film there we didn't you know that there were a lot of people in the crowd who obviously went in the film and not signed off extras we were walking through it was a shot with my girlfriend and the boys with me and about 10 feet from me i had some i had a bit of like ooing and eyeing and i just had two shots and someone was killed 10 feet from me that's insane yeah while we were shooting yeah. wow yeah what's it like going from like a nick and Nora type set to this type of set i mean both must be fun but you know what i mean yeah i mean for me this is this is this is this is kind of where my heart lies in many ways you know um i just you know knowing esri and knowing the struggle of how it is and just like you know just the systemic problems in the states with the schools with jails just all the institutions and how it works so we're playing these boys you know it's like who has to navigate that and um it was really really interesting to me but i actually felt right at home i felt right at home i've been a rascal my whole life man you know so is it nice to kind of have an american touch i mean with your mom's side i mean kind of you're bridging the gap across the pond yes i am yeah and thank god for that because i think without that maybe it would have been a lot harder to to get the accent i actually went to school here in uh, long island when i was 11 for a whole year so i'm kind of americanized and i'm an american citizen too so you know i think that helps last question i know you spent some time on a kibbutz i grew up on a kibbutz myself wow. what's your fondest memory of kibbutz like oh hi erica hi. how are you nice to see you um i i have to be honest here it was wake up at 6 a.m working on an organic fish farm right working hard hours until 12 and then it's beer and swedish girls i mean that's it so go figure i don't need to elaborate more on that with what i did with the rest of the day but i mean what a wonderful experience you know but I mean, it's just like nothing you've ever experienced before. And the kibbutz, they're dying. They're dying as a result of capitalism in the world, especially in Israel. Um, and I'm really grateful I was able to do that. I come from a North London Jewish family. My mother's not Jewish, but culturally I'm Jewish. And my grandfather, after me being a rascal for, I was like, get out of here. And he put me on a plane to, to Israel. And I spent a year there and I, I loved it. It meant the world to me. I miss it every day. Wow.